Welcome fleet and users. Uh, today we will learn how to change our duty status. As on the screen we can see there are four options for the duty status. Black is for off duty, orange is for the sleeper berth, green is for driving and blue is for on duty. Uh, whichever duty status we are on, a clock is shown below that duty status. As we can see right now, two minutes have passed since I have been on or off duty. OK, so whenever we want to select the duty status or change our duty status, we will just click on that. For example, I'll just click on sleeper berth. My location is automatically picked by the ELD and I'll enter a note over here sleeping and submit it my duty status has now changed to sleeper birth this is the procedure of changing any duty status okay so now whenever we are going to start a shift we need to make sure that firstly our duty status is on duty and the driving event is automatic we don't select our driving uh, duty status or change our driving duty status so firstly uh, we will change our duty status to on duty. Click on on duty. Our location is automatic. As we can see, we will enter a note start shift or pre trip. Uh, like whenever we are starting a shift, we have to enter a note, uh, enter a note over here and submit it. Now our duty status has changed to on duty. The driving event, as we told you, is automatic. Whenever the vehicle starts and passes a limit of eight kilometers per hour, or the driving event is automatically created in the ELD. So right now my vehicle is at 35 kilometers per hour speed. As we can see on the top left corner, it sh shows that vehicle is in motion. My speed is being shown. The drive time I have utilized already is being shown on the second clock. My idle time is being shown on the third clock. Below that, there's a Canadian flag. That means I am using a Canada cycle right now. The total drive time left for me is 12 hour 53 minutes as being shown under it. It's written driving. In the bottom left corner, there are three circles. If you will click on this, uh, I'm, I will be able to see my total drive time left, my shift time left, my cycle time left. If I'm moving in US or using a US cycle, uh, the break clock will show the break time or when the break is required. Uh, in the bottom right corner, there's a crescent moon over here. If I will click on this, uh, this is the day mode and night mode or the dark mode. We can select it from here. If uh, like when we will stop our vehicle, uh, the driving status will automatically change it to on duty but after six minutes uh, that's according to the ccmt and fmc is rule if i want my driving status to be automatic uh, like i want to forcefully change my driving status i don't want to waste the six minutes because until the six minutes have passed the duty status will not change automatically right now and at the top left corner i can see my vehicle is in, is in stationary but my driving status uh, my duty status is in driving only so for that i'll click on the driving written just below the clock okay drive clock and i'm back to the home screen i'll change my duty status to on duty or off duty whatever is required so i'll just click on on duty my location is there i'll enter my note and submit it now it is ensured that my duty status has changed from driving to on duty sometime it happens that our uh, drivers or the users just kill the app or just move back to the home screen and see and then log out from the application but don't make sure that my driving status or my duty status was properly changed, thus leading to violations and problems. So uh, as we have told you to make sure that we don't get any violations, we will every time by logging out, we will make sure that our duty status is properly changed. As I told you how you can check your duty status whenever logging out, go back select your duty status off duty sleeper birth on duty 
whatever required and then leave the vehicle and then log off. 